it's moving, I see it. Yeah, 641, it's 445, 2405. Hey, uh, 641, I got a gate going on you, 640, I mean, uh, 445 video gates on you too. A 641 diesel car, click on it. Good morning, Sean, 445, you got a small copy. Oh, Joe Dirt, 66 Arizona, where you going? Well, right back there, Joe Dirt, you're sounding good in Mississippi, my friend. Hey, Joe Dirt, you're sounding real good in Mississippi, 445. I'll put your name on this video, gate. Tempo. Roger that, Mr. 445. Well, you're sounding real good out here around Phoenix, Arizona yourself in the mobile. Yeah, I'm headed your way towards Memphis 10 right now, 445. Old Joe Dirt's right back. Right back there, Joe Dirt, around Phoenix, Arizona, I believe you said. Hey, uh, that, uh, state that's always sunny out there, they say. Hey, uh, 641, I mean, uh, Joe Dirt, 445, right back. Right back, right back, 445. I'll catch you back in there later on. I'll be ready to get on in the state out here. I'll catch you later on. I'm Joe Dirt, in the wheel, Phoenix, Arizona, is back out. Got it all, Joe Dirt. I'll put your name in the Hall of Fame. Hey, have a good one out there. I appreciate the contact. 445, right in the mail, on top of the hill in Mississippi. Got a copy on you, 133, 136, Durango, Colorado. Virginia, Colorado, I think he said 136 or something like that. Hey, Colorado, 445, Mississippi, you made the trip. 446. Hey, 445, 445, 445, 641, get that ball off your mind, 641, stuff it. Hey, 641, you come in there and shut up, get them off my mind. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, let you Hey, uh, no, uh, no complaints back here, 
man. And it's just a little cold in Mississippi, 40, 48 degrees. It's warming up. It was uh, about 41 this morning. <laughs> Ooh, wow, 48, it was 41, it's 55 over here, 55 degrees, uh, partly cloudy, mostly sunny, and uh, it's going to be a nice day today. Day 445, it's a good day for outdoor projects, not too doggone cold, and uh, certainly nowhere near too hot, so uh, ain't going to complain about a doggone thing. 445. Radio Man, Motormouth Mall, working the small mall in this cup of coffee, got down, break, I love my coffee in the morning. Another cup of coffee. Uh, you've on your, you're on your third one, you say. Third cup of coffee. I'm on my fifth one. Gosh, you know, it's 24 ounces, so. <laughs> I usually stay with two 24 ounce cups in one day, and about 48 ounces a day, sometimes a little bit more. We make we make coffee over here by the half gallon to break. Coffee, that's like sacrilege. You don't, <laughs> you don't want to do that to break. Yeah, me and the lady at the grocery store, we were talking about that one day. I was buying all these, uh, these, uh, these jugs of coffee. She said, man, you don't like to run out. I said, no, that's, uh, that's illegal to run out. They're too old. 53. <laughs> Yeah, for, you know, um, doggone it, uh, coffee's getting expensive, you know. Uh, you know, look at the people that go to Starbucks, and they spend, you know, what's your average for one drink at Starbucks? It's probably, you know, like a, a venti coffee. When I was buying Starbucks years ago, I haven't gone to Starbucks to buy coffee in, I don't know, three years now. I, I don't uh, I don't go to Starbucks anymore. It was my routine every morning when I was doing it. It was like $2.00. Two twenty-five or two forty-five for a for a venti uh, a straight black coffee of that Pike's Place. A venti is all it was, and that was a that's, that's not a fancy drink. The fancy drinks are like five or six dollars. So you know you got people that go to Starbucks twice a day. That's a ten dollar plus habit a day at Starbucks. If you don't if you don't get any little trinkets like you know uh, 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 some kind of a bakery or something like that to go with it, you know they got to. So that gets expensive. You go to the grocery store and you just buy straight ground coffee like the stuff that we get the signature select over here. It's eighteen dollars for a two pound bag of coffee. It's ridiculous. The rate. You enjoy it. It's something that it, uh, that it, uh, um, you look forward to and all that, and it's worth it, you know. And it really is worth it. It's just it's just amazing how expensive it's gotten over the years, you know. So you know, I don't complain too much. I, I, it's, uh, it is what it is. But we go through quite a bit of it, you know. And, and it's uh, um, it, it sure is the uh, the morning elixir of the gods. A a four forty five coffee is the morning elixir of the gods. The break. Yeah, 10 Yeah, I, I use the grounds. Uh, I pull the grounds out here on the ground. I got some moles out here, and uh, they, they don't like coffee grounds. So uh, I pull the coffee grounds out here on, on my, my backyard and uh, get rid of the moles. Uh, 10 well, I wonder how the gophers and groundhogs like it or don't like it, because I got a whole lot of gophers and groundhogs over here, and a whole lot of gopher holes and ground, you know, gopher holes. And man, for one, is bad because if you're walking carrying something and you're not looking, you know, you could twist your ankle in the dog on Not to mention they they tend to to try to dig around the side of and underneath the driveway and the roads. So I would imagine it hasn't happened yet, but 
you know, it's only been uh, several years. But before long, all that dirt is splattered all the way down. Eventually, my doggone driveway is going to collapse and get all weird and ugly looking. And uh, so I was wondering, maybe I should put the coffee grounds <laughs> inside the gopher holes to break. Yeah, we're trying. Hey, mother mouth, I'm resisting me trying, because these, uh, these moles don't like it. Hey, uh, you can look it up on the internet and see, but uh, I think that's a good idea to put, them, put that coffee ground in the, in the, the gopher holes, tempo. <laughs> Yeah, yep. ten four. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up. I, uh, uh, and I, I I got a couple of those electronic uh, uh, what you call them uh, mouse, mouse repellents. I mean it, um, um, pest repellent things. And I plugged one in here and I plugged one in my transmitter room next door. So uh, hopefully they'll help. The problem that I see with that is I've, I've got some fans in there that run twenty four seven. You know the computers. I never shut the computers off. And I've got one power supply. Uh, 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 that runs all the time. It's got a fan on it too. But um, anyway, those fans next door, they never shut off. So I don't know if the noise from the fans is going to disrupt or mask or inhibit the functionality of the, uh, the little uh, uh, ultrasonic test uh, uh, device. But anyway, I put one in the other room and I put one in this room. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that works there, break. Right? Yeah, ten four. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I couldn't tell you that, but I, uh, I understand. Uh, yeah, the fan noise, uh, the frequency uh, might uh, interrupt with that the uh, the pest control device. I'll follow you on there. I don't know. Hey, motor mouth. I'm right, gonna go get my coffee. Hey, motor mouth. Uh, you can talk to make some more contacts out there. I'm gonna go get my coffee. Ten four. Seven three two. All right, sounds good. We'll let you get your coffee. I get back on the side, read the mail for a bit. Have you been having a gate going since this uh, conversation break? Yeah, it's uh, 12 minutes long. I'm putting the cut it off. All right, sounds good. I'll get to listen to it and uh, critique the uh, the characteristics over here on this end. I appreciate that. 445, Radio Man, go get your coffee. I'm going to sit back on the side, read the mail for a little bit, maybe make another contact or two, and we'll get back uh, uh, to doing what we got to do on this end. Maybe uh, maybe I'll start uh, putting the gopher holes or the coffee in the gopher, the uh, spent coffee grounds in the gopher holes. <laughs> All right, catch you later. 445, Radio Man, Radio Station Motor Mouth Mall. Your West Coast under modulated beasts got to zone. I got it all. I'm cutting it off. I'll be back. Is it the hacksaw? Arrivederci.